Hello everyone, today I'm making a liquor meat and potato bready, what we call foul course. <laughs> okay, I got some oil in the pot, two large onions. These um, chilies are optional, you don't have to add it. I'm just going to sweet down the onions until it's a nice golden brown and I'll be right back. Okay, the onions is going nice. Now this is one of my favorite meals growing up, uh, but when we grew up we had potato and we had meaty bones and um, it was basically more potatoes than anything else, <laughs> but it was so liquor and then we'd eat it with um, a sootseer, sweet and sour onion sly, Ava sly. Oh. And the chilies, I got some garlic. If you want to add allspice, you can add allspice. Um, when, when my mommy made it, she made it very plain salt and pepper, salt and pepper, and that's that. And if she had some chili, she'll throw it in. But yeah, it was so liquor with the rice, especially in winter. Oh, my favorite! My moon water. My mouth is watering. Okay. Look at browning now. I've got um, some lamb knuckle. I'm going to add my peppers, white pepper and black pepper. You can add black or white or both. It's really up to you. It's what you have in the kitchen. And the beautiful thing about this dish is that before a meal is a recipe, before it's a recipe, it's a story. And before it's a story, it's a circumstance. And this is very plain food, but so many beautiful memories um, is associated with it, which makes it extremely, extremely special. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to add the meat. And now I'm going to braise the onions and the meat till it's a nice golden brown, brownish color. And then I'm going to add salt and pepper. And, um, and then we're going to cook it until tender. I'm just going to brown this and then I'm going to add my garlic. Okay. So there's a little color on. I'm going to add my garlic. This is optional. We really eat. <laughs> I'm going to add now. My white pepper to your taste, and black pepper. Woo! My salt, teaspoon of salt. You just taste afterwards later on. Scorchy water.
Sunny, what's it? Coming now. Okay, I'm going to be right back. Okay, now I'm going to add two cups of water. I'm going to cook it on a medium heat, stirring occasionally, adding water if needed for about 45 to 55 minutes. I want the meat to be tender. If it's the big pieces of meat, then obviously it's going to go longer. Um, but you do the spoon test when you push through the meat and it breaks apart then it's ready for the next step okay so i'll be back now now bye bye <laughs> i'm back here we go Put the spoon. That's nice. I'm gonna add the potatoes. This is six potatoes cut into into four. If you are a bigger family, just add more potatoes. This look a fair handfuls. Call them attaples. Hence, we always used to call it attapol gravy. <laughs> Okay, so all this is going to do is cook until the potatoes are nice and soft. Then as it cooks clear, oh, you know, the honey pan. That's for the meat. Mm. Okay, and this will be served with the rice, and I'll get some sly. Uh, the video for the sly is. Is on my channel just type in onion slide onion tomato slide okay about 20 to 25 minutes no? Depending on your, how big you cut your potatoes, but you test it by just putting a knife in the potatoes and leave it soft. Food is finished. Okay, guys, the potatoes are soft. And dish, dish for opa some food, some rice. Okay, and then just lie on top. Here we go, and there it is, guys. Like a um, meat and potato breedy, apple breedy, falcos. <laughs> Yummy in my tummy. Okay, there it is, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I'll be back again with another another video soon. Love you guys. Bye bye. Okay. Looky looky man. Shoo.